I've asked a group the other night as to who funds uh, welfare. And only one person had some idea as to who funds welfare. 50% is funded by the federal government, 30% by the province, 20% is on your tax bill. And the, uh, the need of uh, the people going on welfare has increased considerably. In fact, the social cost of the region has increased considerably because of the economic downturn and the number of people that are out of work. So folks, we got the message that you did not want your services cut. We could cut the maintenance on roads in the winter time and save some money. We could cut the number of times we cut the grass on the boulevards. We could do that. And we could cut the cost of trying to clean up the city from time to time, even though the citizens are most helpful in doing that. This is all a cost. And by the way, vandalism is quite a cost on your property tax. Can't imagine the number on Faulkner Drive, all the trees one night were broken down. The trees had to be replaced. That's a cost on your, on your property tax. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a, but we want to do more. What I'm going to do this year, I'm going to have a, ta a town meeting once a month at City Hall to see if we can make the citizens of Mississauga more aware of what their tax bill pays for. Because there is a lack of understanding out there as to the services we provide. And the cost of services are going up. You know, I use the example, I have a home. I had to replace the roof on my house. I had to replace the windows because they were wooden and they rotted. They're now plastic. I had to replace my furnace because it broke down. Now I have an energy efficient service. My air conditioning broke. I had to replace it. Think of all the buildings that the city owns that needs replacement of all that same equipment, roofs, air conditioning, etc. They don't last forever by any means. And we must keep them up, up to date. Think of all the vehicles that we operate. Your hydro bill went up. My hydro bill went up. Well, think of what the city's hydro bill went up. And now, let's talk about diesel fuel that we use for our buses and gas for all the many hundreds and hundreds of vehicles, parking control, bylaw enforcement, transit buses, all the the trucks and the maintenance trucks, et cetera, are park staff trucks. Well, they use gas and diesel. Well, the price went up. That's on your property tax. So it's, a, it's, a, it's so easy to really explain why the taxes go up every year, because the cost of running the city goes up. We hope this year, as we renegotiate the many union agreements, that we will get a good reduction. I also want you to know that the non-union staff will not receive a performance pay this year. The mayor and members of council has not taken the 2% increase that the non-union staff will get, even though the union staff in 2010 got 3%. So we have problems. We have struggles, yes. And it's not easy to manage the budget of a city today the size of our city. But you know what? With a team approach to it, and with a government that will upload many of the costs that should not be on the property tax, we're on our way with social costs. We've got a long way to go. We're on our way with court security getting it off. Health is still on your property tax, public health. And education is still on your property tax. That should be completely eliminated. So folks, please don't hesitate to call. The explanation is there, and we would be happy to explain to you every item in the budget, every item. And I hope that at our town hall meetings that I will be arranging, starting in April, I will have a department come to each meeting to explain how they operate, what the cost of their operation is, 
and what services they provide to the public. We must do it because I'm convinced that there is a lack of understanding of the breakdown of the tax bill and how we come up with a budget for the city. We're only too happy to do it. Now, let me say this. Infrastructure, which we have been so fortunate to get 90 some million dollars from the federal and provincial government to build our beautiful, to renovate our beautiful Civic Square, which is now called Mississauga Celebration Square. But we have to operate it, another burden on your tax bill this year. And we opened two new swimming pools in Mississauga, which we're so delighted, one in Clarkson and one in Malton. The, the operation of those are on your tax bill, another added service to benefit the people of Mississauga. There's all kinds of explanation for why your tax bill, how it is created, uh, how it is built up, etc. So please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the mayor or members of council or staff so that we can bring you right into the picture as to what the budget is all about and what services we provide to you and whether or not you are happy with them. And secondly, to realize that much of the cost of your tax bill is legislated or mandated or are uncontrollable. It comes down to a very small amount that we really have the decision. And so folks, there's so much to explain and I'm just so delighted and excited about making an effort this year to put as much time as possible into explaining the tax bill that you receive.